Yes, and thanks for staying with us. And uh, without further ado, uh, we have Joey up in the studio. Joey, welcome to SWAT you. Watch. You are the principal and founder of Mastery Academy, which is, of course, on Chinese metaphysics. And right. before we get uh, anywhere near to your forecast, which is, of course, what all our viewers are waiting for okay. right now, uh, perhaps you can briefly tell us what is Chinese metaphysics. All right. mm -hmm. um, Chinese metaphysics encompasses studies like Feng Shui, Chinese astrology, date selection, face reading, as well as Yi Jing. So uh, metaphysics includes subjects that are metaphysical sciences. Mm. You know, so um, if you take um, in Western, there's Western astrology and there's tarot and there's Western metaphysics. So that encompasses studies that talk about time, space and events. Mm. And I understand that you've been very interested in Chinese metaphysics yes. since you were a kid. Uh, That's right. And uh, what got you hooked onto this? Actually, uh, it's a strange uh, thing that um, I don't have a special event that took place, you know, some major thing that happened that caused me to have interest. Mm -hmm. All this while, I knew that this is an interesting subject. And when I went to university, um, where some of my friends are probably working in restaurants and, you know, making uh, some, some extra money, I was doing consulting. Mm -hmm. And I had a clientele since then and I kept it till now. Mm -hmm. So it, it wasn't the way you were brought up or the no, people around you no. who influenced you? Nope. Okay, and you've been in the business for what, 14 years? 14 years, that's right. And what sort of business uh, do you actually do which is Feng Shui related? Okay, um, there are made, um, um, two portions of it. One is the consulting part, where I actually enjoy the most. We actually go out and do the work for corporations, businesses and all that. That's the consulting part. Mm -hmm. And then the other part is the education, the academy. That's where all these books come in. That's where I write the courses to educate people to um, actually practice this art. Mm -hmm. And what made you decide to make a business out of it? Actually, I didn't decide to make a business out of it. The, the, main, the primary goal was to have feng shui literacy, that's why I call it, you know, to mm -hmm. educate people so that they could help themselves. Mm -hmm. And as a byproduct, it became a business. Mm -hmm. You know, that's how, how it began. And it's still, the, that's the, still the goal, you know. Yeah, but perhaps uh, if you want to educate people out mm -hmm. there, perhaps you can share with us some of the myths of Feng Shui. Mm. Like, are uh, ornaments important? For example, do you have to buy certain things, put them in your house, or even the way you position huh. your you know, that's furniture? excellent question. In fact, that's the first thing I educate people through my books, that Feng Shui um, is not based on ornaments like everyone think it is. Mm. Because if you, uh, what I write in the books is I refer to the original classics which were written in Tang Dynasty, Ming Dynasty, the original books, the source of the information, mm -hmm. none of those talks about ornaments. Ornaments is a new invention in the modern era. Mm. Is so, it to make money? Well, I, I don't know that that would be the specific reason, but obviously to beautify your house in some way, okay? okay? But has it's it got any... It's very expensive as it's well. It's pretty expensive. Mm -hmm. Now, has it got anything to do with Feng Shui? No. You see, mm -hmm. Feng Shui deals with what? Feng Shui talks about the environment, the building, the residence and time. And mm -hmm. how they interact using the environmental energy to help you. It's all about tuning in. You don't have to buy good luck. You just have to tune in and it's free. Think of it like a free Wi-Fi, you know. Just be in that area, you have the access code and there you go. You know? yeah, but we have a lot of Feng Shui experts around and obviously they're making some money out of it. So does it make a good business? Um, I think that's the reason why I write books because I want to educate people to understand this art because you know too long that this has been you know the snake oil and incense uh, um, you know, image and I would really like to clear that. And I started off teaching actually in the West. I taught in uh, Germany, I taught in London, I taught in Australia, I taught in the States and after teaching from in different countries, coming back to Malaysia and then only they accepted this sort of uh, teaching because I started off as this young guy, you know. Why would he be teaching Feng Shui? We don't believe in young guys, you know. Did they believe you? At first, no. Then when I went to the, in, in, in overseas, they don't have this discrimination with age. They just want to know whether it works or not, mm. you know. So you can't go there and say, you know, hey, put this frog in the corner of your room and your luck will change, you know. They say, oh, come on. You got to be real here. Mm. So these ornaments things don't go too well with Western-minded, educated people. Mm -hmm. So whereas um, in Asia, a lot of people still go with superstition. So I thought, you know, that explanation, detail, you know, uh, examples, as well as proof that it works is necessary for education. Mm -hmm. So here I write down all the, um, the techniques and system and then here you go and test it, mm -hmm. practice it. Mm -hmm. And there's a very simple way. People always say that, uh, how do you prove it? Very simple. There are certain spots in the home, certain directions that could be negative for certain years. Why don't you try them? Mm -hmm. 
active it and see what happens. Mm -hmm. So that's how I got the, 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 the overseas, the, uh, the in people in the West interested in the art. And then I brought it back and people, hey, you know, it's working. This guy's teaching overseas, let's listen to him. Mm -hmm. That's how I got it all started. But it's obviously quite working. You've got 200 over fans on Facebook who okay, follow yeah. you all the time. And um, you've got, um, you're in 50 cities, you've visited them. You've got over 60 books published. <laughs> How has it been proven to be successful, Julie? Well, um, through my own work, I think we have to walk the talk. You know, we cannot just um, just say, oh, this stuff works. We got to show that we are also experiencing this and uh, it helps us in our business. We cannot help others if we can't help ourselves. Mm -hmm. So through this, I inspire others to actually follow using feng shui. Mm -hmm. You know, that's one of the best ways, you know, that mm -hmm. speaks for itself. Mm -hmm. And uh, you've got uh, 1.5 million copies actually distributed. Yes. In how many languages are they? Well, I think 10 languages. Okay, yeah. is that a tedious task? To um, I don't it? translate them, so it's not that <laughs> tedious. Okay. But writing has been uh, um, really interesting. It's not that difficult, but mm -hmm. editing is actually difficult. So, But I've got a good team. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us a bit, perhaps, what are your charges like for consultation? Oh, it can go anywhere depending on uh, the range of that consult. For example, from a house, is it a ready-made house? Or are you doing a whole development, 500 houses, 600 houses? It really depends on how it goes. We Those can, are the property developers? Yes, we work with developers as well. Mm -hmm. I would prefer to do that because we can affect help and um, positive change to more people instead of just one house and usually if you just do it for one house there are limited changes mm -hmm. and we don't just deal with the house though because there's another part of our consulting that does it deals with astrology now astrology and many people think it's like oh let's look at our fate you know but that's not how it is we are trying to create destiny so when we help someone we don't just help them by you know let's put something in the corner of your bed you know that's ridiculous we help someone by understanding how the environment affects them that's called external influences and we also help them understand the internal influences meaning who are you what sort of person you are what sort of profile do you have and your personality what is it like is your personality an asset or is it a liability which part of it is an asset find out and then exercise the best part, your strengths, and maximize it, and that's how you make improvements. So obviously, you have a scientific explanation to everything yeah. that you. Um, uh, we don't do. have a laboratory sort of scientific uh -uh. explanation because it's still metaphysics. But we do have statistics that show if you do this, this is the outcome. Mm. And coming to your um, consulting group, mm -hmm. uh, do you attend to all your clients personally, or do you have? Uh, we have people, a group of people. Yeah, a group of people. Mm -hmm. And uh, your clientele are they mostly from the business community? Yes, or? Now mostly from business community. But uh -huh. we started off with from the um, housing, you know, um, homemakers uh, department. Mm -hmm. But then, we, as soon as we develop, you know, we reach on to the business community, and now they are. Um, High levels of uh, um, corporations, even for entire uh, MNCs and all that. Mm -hmm. And has it brought success to these companies? Yes, we do. All right, in dollars and cents. Mm -hmm. Great. Okay. Um, can you tell us about some of the books actually that you publish? Okay. Yeah. Um, there are different subjects, and I primarily started with feng shui as a subject, mm -hmm. and then the um, the second subject would be um, Bazi astrology. That's a form of Chinese astrology. Um, not the type that you hear about the 12 animal signs though. That is basically for the Sunday comics, but <laughs> the actual astrology basically <laughs> mm -hmm. has to exercise change for people. Mm -hmm. So that's the group of uh, the books, we call it the destiny code. Mm -hmm. Okay, so basically understand your code and then find out what you can do to maximize your life. And then there's a range of books on face reading. Mm -hmm. Face reading is basically a reflection of personality. If we understand our personality, we can also control it to maximize our strengths. Okay, so that's face reading. There's also a set of books on selecting timing because mm -hmm. as people say, timing is everything. So if we understand how time affects us, we can also time ourselves for success. And that's about date selection. Okay, mm -hmm. and then I have books on the, uh, the Yi Jing. It's actually a study of um, a philosophy come um, the science of probability. Meaning at certain point in time, certain thoughts, certain decisions that you make can affect a great change in your life. Mm -hmm. So we want to study how that affects human beings. Mm -hmm. That's the study of the Yi Jing. Okay, mm. unfortunately we need to take a short commercial break. Okay. But of course our next segment will tell you more and give you an insight into uh, Joey Yap's teachings and of course the knowledge that has brought together for us who are very curious and also understand about Feng Shui. Stay with us right here, this watch.